Mr. Fogelson here. Practice what you preach, practice what you teach. Welcome to Game Frame video number 10. Deca, we made it. All right, awesome. Hey, I want to kind of stop where we were kind of in regards to our progress and help you with something that helps when you're in the classroom and students have this question all the time. So it's really kind of a useful, nice little stopping point in starting our new video. Um, this is to basically say, hey, look at, I'm going to look at my folder, which I've making all this cool stuff, right? We can make the thumbnails bigger by holding the control and use the mouse on your keyboard to make them larger or smaller, okay? And I'm going to scroll down, and you'll notice I started making these colors here. Now you'll see that it's orange, orange, you're glad I showed you that, yellow and green, but I forgot the red, and I really want to get that red in there because of Roy G. Biv, right? Um, and I have the green in here, and I forgot um, Roy G. Biv, okay? So we've got to make sure that red is in the beginning, just double-checking my colors, and uh, on the rainbow. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and um, change this background, so I'm going to click on the background one, change it to uh, red. Let's go ahead, we're in red, I just click red there too. And we've got that red background, and I'm going to go ahead and do a save as. And I'm going to call this one, let's go back to the beginnings here, and we've got 24, so I want 24A. Okay, now make sure that this gets corrected, because um, none of your files can be 24A when you load it in the game frame. Just a heads up on that, okay? Really important. So this way, it'll allow me to work with the files now in this K Fogelson folder. By the way, you are hopefully you're saving your in, on your desktop, not on the micro disk right now. Okay. So um, I have that on my desktop. We're looking, and I want to make sure these are in order now. This was just because if I label it 24A, then it saves. I'm sorry. If I label 24A over 24, it will replace this orange, and I want to show you or keep this one. So that's why I labeled it 24A. You cannot label your files with an A. This is just for correction mode. All right, so we have 26, so obviously I'm going to have to make this one up. All right, so let's rename. Oh, well, there's the rename. There it is. And I'm going to make this 27, okay? So we're going to go ahead and click on this one. Um, and I'm going to make this 26, rename 26. So we're keeping that number order. Now you'll notice this is A, so I'm going to want to change this to rename to the next one on the file here, 25. And then I'm going to go ahead and label this now. Now I can label it 24, okay? I don't want to didn't want to label before, or otherwise would label it over that orange one. Orange, you're glad I showed you that. Awesome. All right, so I have my files now. I'm back in order. This happens a lot. Also, what happens is students forget to make sure it's in number order, and they skip over numbers. Just a heads up on that. So make sure they are labeling it starting with zero, and then labeling it number order. So now I have Roy G, and I'm going to start with the Biv. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And you can keep your files open. That's kind of nice to workspace here. And I'm going to scroll down on here so it shows up here. And I'm going to go ahead and go here, and let's go with the Biv. Now, we've got the green so we're going with the biv and I'm gonna go ahead and click here save as call it number 28 so now I can see over here that works too I'm always looking for efficiency call it to number 28 let's hit okay and I could scroll down here and hopefully 28 shows up and there it is and then I'm gonna go biv so um, indigo indigo and violet so indigo maybe an indigo color would be uh, We'll, go, we'll just go with that. I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, as an art teacher, I should know better. Um, and then save as, and let's call it 29. And there we go. And then violet. Violet, and we're going to go with the violet. Something a little bit more violet. Let's go with this. And then let's go here. And bam. All right, and then save as. And then I'm going to go ahead and call it number 30. Because I can see right over here it needs to be 30. Awesome. So I have this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a back uh, back the normal white background and we're going to go ahead and do a save as and we're going to call it number 31 all right and then it'll go back to that beginning animation so i have 31 here i'm going to go ahead then and i'm going to go ahead and quit out of this hit uh no on that save changes i have them all saved here and if you really wanted to start off with one you could go to pixel toolbox and let's say you wanted to tweak one and make some revisions, make sure it's 16 by 16, hit start, and you could really just import, you know, an old file, maybe even you want to start over again. You could import that first number uh, zero um, and then start from there. Okay, hope this Pixel uh, Toolbox tutorial helped. Um, enjoy, um, and get ready to bring this over to the game frame. Bye-bye.